Chapter 10 The next day at court, all went on as before. Only the king stood up while the Earl of Surrey talked, and then the king yelled, Stop! Priest, come hither! The entire room froze. The priest felt awoken from a deep slumber. A chill ran down his spine. His eyes scanned for the archbishop and instead met the king's gaze. Priest, come hither. The priest jerked his leg out with an effort, then forced another step before he began to glide across the room, as if out of his body, and suddenly kneeling at the king's feet. Rise, priest, to all my subjects. Before thee stands the priest of Durham. Don't let his lowly cleric title fool thee. He happens to be one of the most powerful sorcerers in all the kingdom. As most of thee know, and for those who do not, the priest of Durham killed a hunchback in the dark forest in order to save Lady of Berwickshire and her child, Scotland's future king. He's been watching all of thee for me. He knows all. He sees all. And from now on he will stand at my side during our meetings. What do thee make of that? Yes, your majesty. We recognize the priest of Durham. The entire room echoed. Priest, stand over here. And the king pointed to a place to the side of his throne. The priest walked there with his head down, and then turned to face the crowd. They all stared at him. Continue. The king simply said, and the Earl of Surrey began again, from where he'd left off.